Would you use a meteorite as a skipping stone? I probably wouldn't, but sometimes nature has other things in mind, and that's exactly what happened with the Elmenia meteorite in Algeria, but instead of skipping across the water, it skipped across the sand. Let's take a closer look and learn more about the Elmenia meteorite. On the morning of March 11th, 2023, the people of Algeria were treated to quite a show as a meteor streaked across the sky. We're talking about a massive fireball, a sonic boom, and eventually the sound of impact as the fragments of the meteor turned meteorite hit the earth. Now, a fascinating thing about this is there are a lot of people who hunt for meteorites in Algeria. We find a lot of them in the desert. So people saw this meteor, they went to track it down and found samples of it within minutes. Because the meteorite because so much of the meteorite was found very quickly, we have all sorts of pristine samples of it. In total, there have been about 75 kilograms of the meteorite recovered, and a lot of them have really brilliant fusion crust. That's the burnt crust that forms on the meteor as it's burning up, entering our atmosphere. And you see that on the samples I'm showing you here from my collection. Now, when you think of meteors coming into our atmosphere, they can come in at a lot of different angles. And it's that angle of eventual impact that can well, really determine a lot of things about the resultant meteorite on Earth. Certainly, it determines the size and shape of the crater that's left, but it also determines to some degree how much of the meteorite survives impact along with a lot of other factors. Now, that said, the Elmenia meteorite is fascinating because it probably came in at a very low angle. And the reason we can tell that is because there are lots of instances of stones skipping across the surface of the desert. Think about skipping stones across the surface of water. Same type of deal here. It's just the sand instead, and that leaves tracks of the stones skipping. That's not something we would necessarily see if the impact was more direct or more straight on. If you have some meteorites of your own or find some, I don't recommend testing this. These things have been through enough trauma. Like learning about space or the rocks that come from it? Like, subscribe, a lot more cool things to share with you.